Oh, you're doing this, William. Uh, another frequently asked question I get is, uh, what are my thoughts on different steels? Um, well, I've, I've used knives for about 40 years, and at some point I had a collection of over 600, um, and been in business doing knives full-time for about eight years now. And so I've used and made and, and um, just about every steel that you can imagine. Um, so the bottom line is this. It depends on the manufacturer because every steel that is considered a blade steel is a good steel if it is heat treated properly. Okay. Uh, so the, after you're doing the research on the different charts and all this other stuff from laboratories, then do some research on the manufacturer of the style or brand that you're looking at. If they have a good reputation, then it's a good steel. Okay. So I've used, um, like I say, all kinds of different steels, the crucible steels and all this other stuff, and they're typically higher priced uh, unless it's come from a, uh, a large uh, manufacturer and they can usually buy in bulk and get uh, the pricing down to where it's reasonable. But small shops like myself, custom shops, then on, on the average, the, the crucible steels are higher because, well, we can't buy in bulk for one thing. And also, using the grinding belts and things like that, they eat grinding belts up. So the cost to produce is a little bit higher. But just comparing them day to day and comparing uh, the different steels uh, from laboratory results is two different things. Um, the better question is, will you notice the differences in everyday use? And nine times out of ten, you're not. Um, so, you know, you have to ask your, yourself a question is, is it worth the extra money to pay for this higher end steel when say a 1095 or a 01 that's properly heat treated is gonna get you the same results. Uh, 01 is gonna give you a very fine edge. It's gonna be, uh, last you a reasonable amount of time, reasonable. Um, and it's gonna be easily maintained as far as sharpness. Um, so, you really, not much difference or, or anything else that you can expect from a knife. Now, some people will say that the crucible steels are tougher and all this other stuff. So the next question you have to ask is just how tough do you need a knife to be? As long as you use a knife, which is a tool and it's what it was meant to do, then just how tough do you need it? I mean, you know, now if you're a, a, a combat soldier, then you're probably going to need a very tough knife because it's going to be in some serious situations but if you're a farmer or, or somebody that's just using a knife cutting uh things on a farm or or you know things like that then really how tough do you need it okay you you want something that's going to do the job and do it well and it's easily doesn't take a whole lot of time to bring that knife back sharp okay so for me, after using all these steels, O1 and AEBL ticks those boxes. They're, they take a very fine edge. They're easily, uh, uh, they slice very well. They will last a reasonable amount of time. They, they'll last me all day in the shop and cutting string boxes, uh, tape, leather, kydex, all this other stuff. And then at the end of the day, I can sit down with a, just a mini steel or a a diamond stone in just a few strokes, it comes back hair popping sharp. To me, that is a win-win on knife steels, okay? So that's my opinion on knife steels. Primarily, if it comes from a reputable company that has good quality controls, that's not outsourced to questionable people uh, on their heat treat, then it is a decent knife steel. Okay, look for a knife that's going to take a, reasonable, a, a nice edge, that's going to slice very well, that is going to uh, last a reasonable amount of time, and come back hair popping short with a reasonable amount of strokes, or a reasonable amount of time. To me, that's a good knife steel. Okay, so ask questions from the manufacturer. Uh, get on the YouTube and, and check all these, these companies out, see what their reviews are. All right? And then 
choose wisely because your life may depend on it. And uh, until the next one, you guys get in the backyard with a little stick. Be sure and take a child with you. Get the opportunity. And teach that child about the great outdoors and, and what we enjoy and all this other good stuff. Don't forget those plenty of band-aids and lots of knives. Catch you again soon.